Are you ready for the most scandalous mattress review you've ever seen? Well, the Emma Climax is made specifically for plus size sleepers and sex, so let's see if this bed is a supportive place to get down and dirty. I'm Lauren, editor and certified sleep science coach here at Mattress Nerd. I've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses, and up next is the Emma Climax right here. And now obviously beds aren't just for sex, so we brought it into the Nerd Lab to run it through a series of geeky tests. I'm gonna go in-depth on performance, give you my thoughts, and of course my pro-con list. But if you don't have time for all of that, we do have these timestamps down below to help you find anything that you're looking for. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. I just wanna start out by letting you guys know that Emma sent us the Climax mattress for free to test and review, and we may earn a commission if you decide to get one for yourself. That being said, I am here to give you the facts, and that is still what I plan to do. So I'm gonna start out with the highlights and give you some quick hits regarding the Emma Climax so you know exactly what to expect should you decide to buy. Now this is a Canadian made mattress, but it still ships free to the US in a door in a box and you'll have a full year to try it out risk free. So if you want to return it, you can, but if you want to keep it, you'll get a 10 year warranty. But if you want to know more about any of Emma's policies in depth, you can check out our full written review in the description. Now, without further ado, let's get down to the nitty gritty details. I cut my way into the Emma Climax mattress here to get a good look at the layers and see how they perform. But of course, you don't wanna try this at home because it will void your warranty. Now, let's start out with this cover. It is completely removable and machine washable, which is really good when it comes to hygiene. And it's also really breathable and moisture wicking, which is another good option if you're planning on using your mattress for sex. Now, right on top here, we have something they call air cell foam, which is just more breathable than regular memory foam. So it helps at provide some airflow. And then we have another airflow layer that's supposed to keep your body perfectly aligned because it's zoned. And then we have some pocketed coils here behind this thick, dense foam. Um, it's so deep, in fact, that I couldn't cut past it. It's the edge support of this mattress. Mattress nerd, we like to rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, where one is the softest possible option. Now the Emma Climax mattress is a 6.5 out of 10 on our scale, which is medium firm, best for back and stomach sleepers. But we also wanna see how well this bed responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. It's a great way to see if Emma is good in bed. Now, as I bounce this on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's try this on the mattress surface. So we're getting some pretty amazing bounce here, which means that Emma claims it's good for sex. It should be pretty good for sex. I know that this review has already been full of innuendos, but when I say positions, I'm actually talking about sleeping positions, AKA the most crucial factor for when you're shopping for a mattress. A bed is gonna perform differently based on your sleep position and body type. So let's start with side sleepers. You need a mattress that keeps the spine in a straight line and keeps pressure off of the hips and the shoulders. And because the Emma Climax is made with plus size sleepers in mind, it makes sense that this bed best release pressure for average to heavyweight side sleepers. Lighter weight side sleepers are going to see some pressure issues in the hips and in the shoulders. Now on to back sleepers. You just need a mattress that maintains the natural curve of your spine. And this bed does just that. The foam really hugs the spine. And lastly, stomach sleepers like me, we just need a bed that's firm enough to keep the hips elevated and spine aligned. And this bed is firm and supportive enough to keep all stomach sleepers aligned, which of course is a huge pro for me. If you're watching a review about a good mattress for sex, I'm gonna assume that you sleep with a partner. Now we're gonna test how much movement you feel when your partner tosses and turns because you also want some sound sleep. So here's the test. I placed a beaker of liquid on that side of the bed. The liquid in that beaker is gonna signify how much movement you feel as I disturb the bed over here a little bit. So as I press my hands into the mattress, mimicking the feel of tossing and turning, the liquid in the beaker is only shaking a little bit, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna test it further by dropping a weighted ball into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. 
As I do this, there's a little bit more sloshing in that beaker, but it's nothing crazy. It's pretty good motion isolation, actually. So this bed is great for couples. Now it's time to test edge support. And edge support refers to how supportive the perimeter of your mattress is. It's really good for people who need the edges to get in and out of bed, those with mobility issues. It's really good for people who like to sleep along the edge. And it's good for couples who want some space from each other or couples who wanna use the full surface of the mattress for whatever you want. Now this bed has really solid edge support because it is reinforced. So you can see that I'm not sinking down too much. And when I lie there, I feel just as secure. Now that we've gone through all the performance factors, let's check the price tag of the Emma Climax. Now I've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses and throughout that process, I found that most queen size beds range anywhere between $500 to $3,500, but this bed falls right around $1,900 for a queen, which is a little pricey, but sales and prices are always changing. So for the most up-to-date pricing, go ahead and check out the link in our description below. Right, we're near the end or the climax of this review, so it's time for the pro con list. I made a list of the three best and worst things about the Emma Climax mattress here. I'll like start out with the bad news, so let's get into the cons. First up, lighter weight side sleepers may not find the pressure relief they need. On the Emma Climax, you're gonna need a softer mattress that relieves pressure better. Next up, this is a super responsive hybrid bed, so if you like a really plush, sink in the bed feel, this isn't gonna be the mattress for you. And lastly, this bed can be a little pricey, but you can check out our coupons linked in the description below. But there are some great things about this bed, so let's get into the pros. First up, couples. Obviously, this bed is really good for sex, but it also isolates motion really well, so you can both sleep soundly. Next up, folks who like to lie on their backs, I mean, sleep on their backs. This is gonna be a great mattress for you. The foams really hug your spine. And lastly, this bed has plenty of breathable layers, so if you sleep hot, this is a good option for you. So, bottom line, is this mattress good for sex? Yes, yes it is. It's really responsive and it isolates motion, so it's gonna be really great for couples, plus it's supportive for plus size sleepers. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel if it helped you out at all. And for more content like this, visit mattressnerd.com. Thanks for watching, bye.